and we're live. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank Hi, you so everyone. much for coming in. <laughs> uh, so why don't we can introduce ourselves, maybe? Okay, okay. Hello, okay. everybody. Um, today we are with Atlas Scenes and with wonderful Teresa, um, who invited us to host this beautiful, beautiful li live stream. Thank you so much for doing this again and again. Um, so uh, my name is Yenlek, Ozuki Yenlek. Uh, I'm 16 years old and I am um, co-founder of Atlas Scenes. Uh, it's a project about teenagers. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> um, thank you so much for <laughs> thank you so much for uh, hosting this live and sharing this with me. Uh, so I'm Teresa Melvin. I'm a 13 year old uh, digital and NFT artist, and you guys can find me um, as Teresa Melvin Art on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And today I'm going to share the whole process of drawing and lick. Uh, so that was a surprise of what I'm gonna draw. So I'm gonna teach you the whole process with tips and tricks um, from scratch, from reference to sketch, to coloring, to finish. Uh, so it's gonna be a step-by-step -step process of how I'm gonna draw her. <laughs> it's going to be really, really cool. Cause like, you know, I don't know how to draw people. <laughs> so it's really <laughs> interesting for me too also. So um, yeah, that will be really wonderful. Um, so, um, Teresa, I know your art, you really do such a great job. Um, okay, uh, do we um, wait for some people to come up or just do we just start? Um, I think, I think you can just start. I think okay. we can start. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, I'm going to share my uh, camera where you can see my iPad and my sketchbook and like if there's any comments with questions or something that comes in or any questions that we can just ask each other, you can go ahead. Of course, wonderful. So. I prepared some questions for you because I'm really interested because like you are such a big person, like you're little, but you're so big person in the uh, <laughs> NFT world. So I'm really excited for this to happen like myself. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, let me know when you're gonna uh, turn on the camera and then we should start. I'm gonna start asking you questions. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And yeah. um, mm -hmm. there wonderful. we go. <laughs> uh, wonderful. So, um, while Teresa is doing, um, uh, turning on this uh, sketch, I wanted to talk about our project. If it's okay, Teresa, yes? Can I do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, hello, everybody who is joining, who is uh, here. Um, thank you so much for coming again and again. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful live. Teresa is a really talented artist. Her whole family is wonderful and wholesome. <laughs> um, so uh, again, I am. My name is Ian Lek, and I am a member of Atlas Teens. It's a project from Kazakhstan, a country located in Central Asia, where I am right now. And uh, our project is about teenagers. The whole project is about teenagers by teenagers for teenagers. It's 365 NFCs showing the whole pet of a teenager, because we truly believe like the the first love and first mistakes and so many things happening in the teenage life for the first time. You can check out our collection um, because there is a cycle going on. We help another teenagers also throughout our funds. And uh, we started not long ago, but not short ago, but our journey keeps going. So you can uh, like go, uh, our Twitter account is Atlas Teens. Um, our Instagram is also Atlas Teens. Just check out. Uh, yeah, that's what would be wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. We can start. Thank you so much, and like for sharing that. So you can go check her out and the whole Atlas community. Um, so I just wanted to share some quick tips right here. Uh, whenever I'm creating an artwork, I always like to start with sketching um, on paper. So like even if it's like messy or uh, neat, it doesn't matter. So I always like to like sketch in my sketchbook first when I'm drawing something. And, That's really uh, beautiful. I saw some really beautiful sketches there. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, these are some more I even drew myself here. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, that's wonderful. So beautiful. Yeah, and then when I'm like done uh, sketching the person, um, I always like to make it into 
um, an illustration. So I'm for for nobody uh, if okay <laughs> for anybody that doesn't know how to draw digitally. Um, I'm using Procreate, uh, which is an app you can install for like uh, ten dollars when you just get it. Um, so the first thing to create an artwork um, is to create uh, to create an artwork. You press the plus sign, and you will see. Okay, okay. <laughs> and you press this, and then you can do all of the settings. So the width and the length, which I'm gonna create a square. And I use 600 by 600 pixels because that's what be uh, works best for me. So based on like the size of the artwork, the maximum layers also get changed. So you can always like change the uh, size and it'll change the layers as well. So I'm gonna start with 600 by uh, 6,000 by 6,000 pixels, and it's kind of hard to see here, but it says create. So I'm just gonna create that. And now we have a blank canvas. <laughs> Ooh, <kidding>. blank canvas. <laughs> That's no. what we started. With. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I'm gonna get your uh, rice picture in here as well uh, to draw you. <laughs> so me, there's a cool nice thing. Me. <laughs> yeah, there's a cool thing I learned. Um, so a few weeks ago, that if you press this toolbar. And if you press reference on canvas, you can actually get this thing. So if you press image, you can it'll go to your photos and you can put whatever photo. So I'm going to draw you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it'll, it won't show up on the canvas. It'll just stay here. <laughs> That's such a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, I always start with a sketch layer. Um, so how that works is there's all these different tools right here. And this is for um, all of the brushes. There's all these different types of brushes and different categories, like calligraphy, painting, inking. So I, um, you can actually make a category if you press this. So I made one with all my favorite brushes. So for sketching, I use the 6B pencil. Um, and there's all these other brushes I use to create all my artworks. So I think we can begin the drawing right now. <laughs> um, yay. So, wow. For me, it's actually so, so interesting also, cause like, uh, I'm an artist, but more of the, like the, um, how you call it realistic artist. I draw in real and I can draw in, uh, like procreate and add planchette. And it's really wonderful how you do that. It's magic for me. I don't know why it's, <laughs> it's hard for my brain. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> thank I'm, you. I'm really interested. So <clears throat> thank you. Okay. And whenever I'm. Oh, okay. Uh, I just want to like, uh, say a quick tip right here. Um, whenever I'm drawing a character, I always start with a circle. So that's like this part of the head, like the skull part of the head. And mm -hmm. these are like the lines to help you guide where the nose, eyes are, everything um, like nice and neatly. So this is where the center line is. So I'm drawing the center line. And this is like where the eye line is. So it'll always change. So yeah, and then I just start begin like drawing the jaw. <laughs> we wow, that's yeah. how magic <laughs> works. How you see there, there's magic going on. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's her. It's not. It's she's lying. It's not her pen. She's her. It's her wand. Like how you call it, <laughs> magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Teresa, if it's okay with you, can I start asking you some questions? Yes, of course. Okay, um, uh, let me do this thing if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you can see me as asking something. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, what I wanted to ask you, um, let us know. So you are, as I said, you are such a big person in the, uh, you are a little girl, but you're a big person in the NFT world. So how did your NFT journey even start it? Um, well, I started the, um, well, I used to, um, put my works on Instagram, only on Instagram. Um, and I would like start there. Uh, and I used to be like a shy artist as well. I wouldn't talk much. So, um, on social media, I would talk to the camera a lot, but I discovered, um, NFTs, um, last year in August for like the first time. And I never knew anything about it. Um, and actually my dad introduced it to me and um, it was a way to share my art 
with like everyone and get into communities and meet a lot of like great inspiring people um like people that I wanted to become so that's how um I got into the NFT space and I just started with one F- NFT of my character uh Ava which I'll explain more about uh maybe at the end um yeah yeah, I've always loved drawing characters. So NFTs was a way to um, earn value for what I do. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, and I got started using social media a lot as well. Mm, that's <laughs> wonderful! Wow, it's it's really cool how you're like uh, you're a thirteen, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's so wonderful. You know, so you are in. in 13 and you are in nft which which is like it's going to go big in the future now it's already a big thing and uh like uh how it is to be a teenager in this space like you've been uh already it's it's, it's been a long journey so how it is to be a teenager in the like there's lots of adults <laughs> doing this uh, adults uh, 30 maybe 40 ish and you are 13 how it is to be a teenager a kid um it's it's great um i like to explain more about it um i'm really excited to uh start in like this type of space um as a young artist um and i'm just really happy to see a lot of other um like kid artists in the space because not uh not a lot of people believe that like kids should learn about this and there's a lot of kids right now that are just changing that um for example like uh you um i learned a lot from you as well and a lot of other nft kid artists and people in this space who really show how um uh, really show other people like what they can do so my goal is to inspire a lot of other kid artists um nft kid artists and just artists in general um young artists in general um and to inspire them and motivate them through my artworks uh as a 13 year old nft artist that's wonderful wonderful thank you so much for mentioning us me (laughs) that's really uh really means a lot and it it, it's so it's so um strange to see you drawing me because like i'm sitting here and you're so into drawing me but it's really cool what you're doing yeah again thank you so much um i'm gonna tell uh by the people who is speaking there they're telling that like they're really great that you're doing this it's really cool because like uh what you're doing to showing people the opportunities how they can create it's really wonderful what you're doing so thank you again <laughs> thank you <laughs> but, but you draw draw might, <laughs> <laughs> and this might not look like it at first but whenever i'm drawing a person um a real person it usually never looks like them at the very start and then i start like changing some things and moving things around and that's when it looks like the actual person. So when I'm first drawing, it usually looks like nothing like the actual person. Yeah, I understand yeah. you. I think I think it's always like that when you're drawing, even anything. Like, you know, the sketches is not the same as you want it to be. As my mom always tells, she tells me, you will, uh, like, you will paint it and everything will come come in the puzzle. I'm like, okay, I believe <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah um okay um i i hope uh it's not hard for you to uh answer my questions but i'm gonna continue answering your questions because <laughs> it's not gonna mm-hmm. stop here yeah so yeah, it's um not. so again you are 13 years old in the nfc space it's really wonderful that you're here and uh but you know nothing is perfect uh, uh, of course and what kind of difficulties you had throughout this path um well through this path um i well first of all since um i'm like a kid in this space there's uh, there's definitely school involved as well so i i i do have school um with nft so when i did have school it was kind of hard to manage the time between nfts and school because i only had a few hours after like homework and everything but it's it's summer break right now um over here in texas uh so i'm just like taking advantage of this time to do as much as i can in the nft space 
Um, and I'm actually making a collection right now, a 1000 piece collection called Ava Ramona, which is a project I'll talk about. And I'll talk about Ava and Ramona um, at the very end of the live. But um, I do have like struggles with time management because I'm not the best at it. Um, I will like create an artwork or something and I will like try to make it look perfect and just like get carried away with the time. Um, but in the NFT space, I do have like trouble always being on social media to connect with these people because I know um, that I won't always have the time to do it. So that's a struggle I do have in the NFT space. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things going on and a lot of opportunities um, out there. So it's like always coming. Um, but I just choose the ones that will be the most important to me and will make the most change or the ones that are the most important to me, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to keep up with it because of uh, having school and everything, but you know, summer break. <laughs> yeah, summer break always saves us. <laughs> it's the same yeah. here, uh, you know, um, as a, um, um, I really admire you because as a teenager also in NFTs, I'm not an artist, but I'm also involved uh, in all of these thing things. And it's quite harsh when you need to study and do other stuff of yourself and then you, you just keep, got to keep active and be active in your NFT process. It's, it's, it's quite hard, but uh, we keep going because we know that w w why we're doing this. It's, it's I think, the, the most brilliant part of it. It's, it's that because we know why we're doing it you know and that's why yeah. we won't stop so thank you so much for not stopping and i we're really grateful that we met atlas teens and your project's really wonderful um who, to those people who are just joining uh i think everybody understands what we're doing here but just to just to clarify um here is teresa <laughs> drawing me <Hello. laughs> yeah and here is me my name is yin um yeah, she's around with me, and I'm from Atlas Teens, and uh, she's Teresa, you know her. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, so through this question, it's really again, I really admire you. Keep doing what you're doing; it's really wonderful. It's I think yeah. it's it's always worth it, you know. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I think you know you have you have quite people who uh, know you and uh, um, did this did uh, something like that happen in school maybe somebody come up to you or say ask something you know about nfts do you uh you know do you talk about it or did somebody ask about it because like it's quite interesting i would ask if i would know you <laughs> in um... my school <laughs> Um, well, in school, um, I actually tried to talk to my friends about like NFTs and uh, they know that like I'm an artist and I create artworks, but they don't exactly know like the NFT side of me because they don't quite understand it. But um, fun fact, um, I, I really like my science teacher. So I always like talk to her. Well, I used to talk to her when I had school um, and like I told her I couldn't be there for a few days uh, because I had to go to like Miami and she was like curious why I'm going to Miami and I told her all about the event and I told her like do you understand what NFTs are and then she was very interested in it um, she was not that big in the space or anything but she she kind of knew what I was talking about and she really wanted to know more so um from there i just like started sharing all the like things that happened to me in the nft space and everything and she was just so amazed uh that she she told my she told the whole class um about the nfts um and showed like my some of my artwork that she found online this um, is my student <laughs> <laughs> that was that was amazing and uh, she even told the principal about it. Like, wow! I like, um, yeah. She thought it was gonna be matter or something, but no. I, <laughs> I, it was just unbelievable. She did that. So then I got in the interview with uh, my school's YouTube channel called KDISD. So yeah, I mean, not like, uh, not everyone like the school knows about me and NFTs, but 
uh, some people in my science class know about it, and my friends still don't understand what this. <laughs> my mm, friends don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, as they as they tell you are first into NFTs and you are like you just don't understand. You you just got to you, just, you will understand in a few more years, years <laughs> in a year maybe. But now, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I you know if I would known, um, I would be um uh, that annoying. Uh, uh, kind of type who would go and talk with you and stuff like that if I would be your <laughs> classmate uh, or just know that you are in my school yeah. <sighs> I would love to have you in my school but okay <laughs> yes. um, I, I've i always like thought of like just somebody um, like I have like this cool cat pin that I got from uh, when I went to Cooltopia in New York City uh, so like Cool Cats is like an NFT, a, a big NFT project for like some people who don't know. And I have like some pins from Cooltopia. And, you know, I was just picturing this scenario in school where I have like the Cool Cats pins on my backpack. And then somebody just comes up to me and asks, oh, my God, you know, Cooltopia, you know, Cool Cats and you know, like what NFTs are. And I'm just like, yeah. And then we just start talking about NFTs. But that's just a scenario I have in my head. I don't think anybody in my school. Okay, I think people do know about it, but I've never heard anyone talk about it in school. <laughs> I think nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, again, like you know, you are really first into all of this, and it's really great. I will. I don't know if you see. I don't think. Yeah, you don't see any comments. So uh, everyone is really impressed how you draw so fast, <laughs> and. <laughs> and uh, they are telling you all the gratefulness. And uh, guys, if you have any kind of questions to Teresa that I can ask her uh, your own, I see already some questions up there and I will ask before, uh, after my questions. <laughs> and um, if you have any, uh, be open to ask her. It's a really great opportunity to ask her anything you want through me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm gonna uh, achieve it, right? And um, Yes. yes. They, yeah. Yeah. They're like really. <laughs> I, I'm impressed how you're drawing it so fast. I would. Thank I you. would stop on the like uh, um, uh, the sketch <laughs> even, <laughs> but you're already doing all the hair and stuff. Um. Yeah. I'm. Um, I'm. Uh. Done with the sketch right now. So I just want to like say a quick thing. Um. So I'm doing a another layer. Um. So that's where I do like the block colors. Block the colors of it. So actually, I said this is like the normal thing, and then I set it to multiply, and you will see why I do that. Um, because then, when I just create a color, uh, for example, this color, I'll just like show this. Okay, this is just an example, <laughs> and then like when wow. I lower the opacity, um, when I set it to multiply, you can actually see like these two colors are uh, kind of different. I don't know how else to explain this, but it's like uh, the multiply, when you put it on multiply, it kind of makes it um, already kind of darker than the actual color. Mm, you mix in them. Like, yeah, not, like the palette, yeah? Uh, not exactly, but the sketch, when I put it on multiply, and when I put all the colors down, that sketch becomes like just darker color than the color uh. it is yeah oh. it's it's kind of confusing when i say it but <laughs> yeah. yes as i said it's ma ma magic <laughs> <laughs> wonderful so. wow okay um there's a keep drawing your beautiful drawing and people are really uh um saying and admiring uh, me too you are doing so beautiful and so fast <laughs> how you do that thank you Okay, um, I'm going to keep up with my questions. Um, you made so many achievements, you know, um, when I, when we were watching you uh, through Twitter accounts and through any other social medias, like NFT, and uh, NYC, um, interviews, speeches, and you've been doing so, so, like, you have so many achievements to be proud of. Um, but more than that, what did NFTs NFTs, NFT world give you more than this? Um, 
Yeah, the NFT world, what it gave me was just an opportunity to like take my artwork from like a small screen phone or like from home and actually put it um, on like a big screen or where a lot of people are seeing it. Because uh, in the NFT space, um, ever since I entered the NFT space, there uh, I've just gotten a lot of support and I've gotten a lot of appreciation from um, people that I look up to and people that I get inspired by. Um, and a lot of people that are doing the same thing as me in the space as well. So I'm getting a lot of support right now. And um, NFTs is a way that I can support other kid artists and NFT kid artists and just young people in this space. Um, mm -hmm. So it's given me the opportunity to actually do that because now I can do what I love, uh, but I, I can do what I love to help other people. Mm. that's so good that's so cool i i i i love your like uh goals and like your um how you call it like uh the things that you appreciate through that it's it's really beautiful wow <laughs> um, thank you and what i wanted to say is that um okay i lost my mind i wanted to say something but i forgot um okay oh. <laughs> well uh that's that's wonderful. It's, 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 you've been, you've given such a great answer. So like, I don't have any follow up questions uh, to that. Um, <laughs> but it is really uh, great, you know, and I just wanted to add something real quick. I think, uh, as you said, it's like the support that we can give to people. And that just, you know, that just uh, just support to support for whole world like the NFTs can really connect, like right now I'm sitting in Central Asia and you're sitting in Texas and yeah. we are chatting and, and talking and, you know, having the, this connection. And that's how I think the, the real NFT networking work, the worldwide networking, it's really beautiful uh, yeah. how, how it happens. Yeah, so yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, so, beep, yeah. Uh, so right now, what I'm doing is I'm blocking in the main colors. I'm not like caring about the details or anything, but this is like the face, the neck, the hair, and then I'm going to do the hoodie. Um, and I keep this all on different layers. So when I do some shading and light and everything, I can just do it on this layer and uh, I don't have to worry about it. So once I block in all the things, then I can just start on the detailing, the texture, everything like that. Wow. Okay. Uh, so what I wanted to say, I just wanted to ask this question, like, why do you put this on these layers? And you just um, answered it. So we work <laughs> good. <laughs> we work yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's people um, asking, I think uh, I will uh, check their uh, uh, questions later on. Um, mm -hmm. Again, they're telling how you... Um, your the style of your work so incredible agree thank you <laughs> okay thank you. <laughs> um like you said about the evan romana collection can i ask it about uh can i about this can i ask it now or should i ask it later because you said like later oh uh sure you can ask right now um okay okay <laughs> okay um so the avan romana collection where did the mm -hmm. idea came from like uh, tell us about more about this collection and then how did the idea came from um so ava ramona is um a project that i'm working on right now um and it's about these two characters called ava and ramona and i i made these like imaginary characters up when i was nine years old um and ever since then i've always kept drawing uh these two characters ava and ramona in all my um in all my nfts and to explain more about the characters uh, that I made up, Ava uh, loves donuts and she's a very positive character and uh, she loves to try new things. Um, she's always ready to go out there to do whatever, she, uh, whatever. And uh, Ramona, she loves to skateboard um, and she also loves to be bold. Her personality is very bold. And basically these two characters, Ava and Ramona are friends, uh, best friends. So to tell more about the actual project called Ava Ramona, um, 
I'm making an NFT collection of 1,200 pieces, a generative collection. Uh, so these two characters, Ava and Ramona, are going to have different traits in different colors and everything. And it's I don't have a certain date yet uh, to release it, but it's going to come out soon this summer. And if you want to check more about it, and if you want to get notified on when it's going to drop, you can check out my uh, website, avaramona.art. Oh, I actually have a sticker here. <laughs> That's what they look Wee! like, Ava and Ramona. Yay. So you can check out avendermona.art. Beautiful. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, I think my personality is more Ava because <laughs> I do love donuts and I'm up to anything. <laughs> so yeah. um, the question is, again, how, why Ava and Ramona? Like, why not any other name? Is there, like, the history of it? Um. Well, when when I created them when I was nine years old, I, I I was just creating characters for fun. Um, I I didn't really think about like actually designing a character that I could stick on to for the rest of my life. I just I just did something, <laughs> and okay. Um, I created Ava first. Uh, so I loved. Uh, there was like this time where I loved to draw expressions a lot. Uh, just like ex like one character in different expressions like happy sad angry so i just like made up i just made up this character um and i it didn't have a name or anything uh so i just like drew this random character with like space buns and like this dress shirt thing with like a frill thing that ava has right now <laughs> and That's i just cool. Yeah, and I just grew to love that character for some reason. I don't exactly know what it was about about like her character, but um, I she just seemed like a very positive character that you would want to hang out with um, yeah. as a friend. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I then later on I gave her like a name. Uh, I just chose Ava because she was like I loved the name Ava for some reason. I it was just a really nice cute name and it fit yeah. her personality as well it's like cute and fun so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it and, is uh, I was just like wow it's really beautiful names and I thought maybe there's some kind of uh, history of it and uh, you know one hits us but yeah it's really giving such a uh, atmosphere of the like chill and fun vibes so that's mm -hmm. um I think you did a great job on names. <laughs> Thank you. And, okay. Uh -huh. And um, Ramona. I created Ramona when I was 11 years old, actually, not nine. <laughs> I just remembered mm -hmm. that. Um, <laughs> I created her um, two years later. And mm -hmm. when I was creating Ramona, I was thinking of some character. Um, I was thinking of something that I haven't really done before or something that maybe I want to try or maybe explore. Um like spray painting or skateboarding or whatever and mm -hmm. I I just imagine skateboarding because I I wanted to try skateboarding and I still don't haven't skateboarded yet which I probably should do it sounds fun <laughs> and, yes <laughs> yeah and and then I just created this character with um like long curly very curly like ginger hair and a very like rainbow personality um yeah. and she just sounded uh like a very bold character and the ra the name again was just kind of random um as in like i just i just grew to be fond of the name um ramona mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> that's cool i uh i really don't know how you do that but you do it randomly but it fits just perfectly you know uh i feel like you you know what's the again the power of this of the art that you're doing and the art that, you, that people do at all they can really achieve their dreams throughout uh this art you know as you said you would wanted to start skating in your character already skates and uh, <laughs> that kind of pushes you like my art already skates why why won't i start so, yes <laughs> yeah that's cool so um okay and where do you get your inspiration for your art um well, the inspiration really comes from a lot of places. It I don't really just get it from one single source. 
um like for example uh when i went to new york it it was just really inspiring to see um all the lights and all the people and i looked up like new york fashion and everything if i could like draw it so i i get a lot of inspiration from just like things that are around me or things that or experiences um like when i went to new york and uh yeah that that's uh kind of how i get my inspiration and uh yeah and i also get a lot of inspiration from cartoons and books just like things that the uh, things that i'm consuming and even entertainment and everything and yeah <laughs> that that's cool that's cool do you have anything to add right now through your art um uh, yeah um so i'm still like blocking all the colors out but i've started to do the facial features uh like the eyes the lips the eyebrows and i'm going to do the nose and everything so um i actually take a lot more time um on these artworks but i'm 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 learning every day to like um have a, like a limit to create artworks because sometimes I get carried away with the artworks and I try my best to like keep making it like better <laughs> uh, and that kind of yeah. distracts me from capturing like the the beauty of the artwork so um I so I have like this collection called Teresa's Friends and I'm actually practicing um to finish like things on time and just just to like have fun with it you know <laughs> um yes so, yeah. <laughs> have fun with me also add some freckles you know i always want freckles <laughs> freckles freckles freckle, is, is this is this right sorry for my english brothers or sisters <laughs> um <laughs> yeah but yeah like literally no one has ever uh painted drawn me and um anything it's already you can you can just oh. you know uh, leave it like that i'm already so fine with it i'm uh, <laughs> i'm more than fine with it <laughs> so but what we're doing tutorial yeah, well, yeah. it's an honor to draw you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you so sweet of you oh, oh and my question just okay. fell up okay uh that's really cool uh, i i feel how your new york trip uh, really inspired you and i hope there will be more trips or things that will inspire you and we will see more and more this incredible works of yours through your um inspired mind and uh, yeah uh will be um how you call it we'll, we'll be uh, excited for that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wonderful wonderful that's really cool okay um i think um okay let's try this uh because i mm -hmm. i would really have the answer also if you have it because like i don't have the answer to to that uh like right now my my mm -hmm. my mind is kind of messed up for about this question but i would love to ask you yeah so your uh life like just real life family life uh school life everything just your real mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. nft life how do you keep yeah. the balance of it let me know um, please let me know <laughs> <laughs> um actually to be honest it is kind of hard to uh balance everything at the same time <laughs> i'll i'll be yeah. honest here not everything's perfect you know not everyone's perfect <laughs> mm -hmm. but i do have a lot of things that really help me to manage the time between everything and have a time for everything. Um, so I have this app, it's called Trello. And my dad, like, told me to learn, uh, my dad teach me about it. And he said, it'll be like a great tool for me to just manage the time because he could see like the problem I have. So he, um, he wanted to help me with it. Like time management is not my best strong suit. <laughs> oh so, my God, same. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Trello is a really good app if you wanna like get all of your tasks down and set a time for everything. And it just keeps you um, like, you don't have to like remember everything in your head cause then it'll just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I understand. That's 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 my mistake. Cause like, uh, I'm 
the kind of people who puts everything in mind. I was like, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna stay here and I'm gonna do everything, but it never works. <laughs> yeah. Even though when I make a plan <laughs> or something, uh, I try to take up than that, but I don't know, it's always so um, messed up. But yeah, Trello is actually a great, great app. I used it, uh, I, I actually worked as a teacher of art and dance and I was an assistant oh. this whole, yeah, this whole year. And mm-hmm. uh, it's been three jobs and the school and the NFTs and uh, everything, like so many stuff happening. And uh, so in work, they created this Trello app and we put all, all the events and connected with work it's really when i when you put the deadline when you put the like how to do that who to help you with it's really really helps so if you want to clear your just to clear your mind maybe not do this stuff on the deadline but uh, to clear your mind you know that would be really wonderful and i i know one technique also like mind map um Mm -hmm. yeah where you put the the actual goal like I don't know to go to to pass IELTS something like that, and then the goals, the roots of this goal to that, and then you put like so, you put other goals like okay, uh, go to the classes. I don't know, uh, keep the time management, and and through this route you have another route. So that kind of helps also. So if you have, if you will Google it, you'll. You know, Google saves us. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll yeah. find <laughs> So yeah. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, that would that would really help. Um okay. The next question. Um I think uh there was this question on the comment section. I'm just gonna uh real quick um also read it. So they okay. tell my kids love doing illustration and it has inspired them and also they share the oh. posts in Instagram controlled by parents. But I would like to know how to join um NFT kids and um, yeah, about the joining NFT process. And now my question also was like any advices for beginners in web three and NFTs? Yeah, of course. Um you can uh go you can go uh connect with um, NFT Kids magazine on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you can like DM them, and they would be happy to know more about like any kid artist that wants to join um, their community. Uh, so you can go check them out on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm 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 very sure that they will uh, reach out to you and help you. And uh, for all the kids in the NFT space. Um, I know sometimes it might be hard to find like a place to fit in because a lot of things in here was uh, meant uh, was like made for adults and they I, I don't think they were expecting like the kids to join. Um, but I, th- I think in the future there will be a lot more kids because there's a lot of kids entering the NFT space right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I for for all the kids out there who are joining the NFT space and are maybe confused or don't know where to start, I would say mm-hmm. find people like you. Uh, for example, there's Nyla Hayes. And she's a very inspiring 13-year-old artist. There's Rainbow Mosho. And there's just a lot of yeah. kid artists that you can talk to or you can, you know, get yeah. inspired by. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> True. We were actually uh, connected with uh, Teresa and whole, whole her family throughout NFT Kids magazine. Claire, shout out to you. Hello, we love you. Love you, Yudira Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much. It really means it's a huge step in our project also. Um, but yes, uh, of course, uh, the NFT Kids magazine, it's always up to any people who would want to join and uh, yeah they, they were like Claire is yeah. amazing and doing such a great job <laughs> thanks so, guys for joining <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have anything to say uh, about the art uh yeah um I have a lot of these brushes here that I use for texture um I really like this one called Tamar and like this is how it looks and I get a lot of texture by using this brush because I like to just um I first I just like to put like plain colors and then I just like to make it kind of 
um, textured and just don't care about perfection or details. Uh, so I also have this one called Tinderbox and this is what it looks like. So you can find a lot of textured brushes and just a lot of different types of brushes you can use. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the shadow on the face right now where like it'll be shadow. Um, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> for the yeah. for the nose, I'm just cool. gonna add some shadow. And She's you know, sometimes, shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I also, um, I I don't like try to make everything look uh, just realistic. So I do go in and add some. I'll show you, like Ooh. some line art uh, here and there. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's not like completely just. That's cool. Shadow. That's cool. Yeah. I saw how you did like like you uh took the uh hair color, yes? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you took the skin color and somehow did something if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. what I did was like I just blocked out the shapes. Uh mm. so I did some shading on the face right now. But mm -hmm. what I did is just I this is like the hoodie, this is like the hair. So mm -hmm. I'm just blocking out the shapes right now uh, so that it looks overall like finished. So then it'll be much easier to just do all the details and stuff. So I do know that you have blonde in here, your hair. So like, I, I love your hair, by the way. <laughs> so Thank I'm just going to like add that. <laughs> I love your hair. The new haircut is fire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, so um, maybe I missed that part, but uh, uh, how did you did layers? So it's like, how do you keep like the face and the glasses and all the things um, yeah. not together? Like, yeah. Um, like so, so if you go, oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> so if you go here, you can see all of the layers. Um, to add a layer, you press this. Mm, okay now i see a blank layer and then you can just like press and hold it and then you can move it wherever you want if i ah, want it here or here so okay oh i just made it yeah <laughs> i see it now wow yeah okay oh yeah and if you like just slide on the left you can duplicate it and mm. you can delete it and this thing is if you lock it then you can't do anything because you it's just locked so yeah Mm, okay okay <laughs> yeah cool cool thanks for saying that <laughs> <laughs> yes because like uh uh i don't know i i kind of um 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 how you call you call it miss miss something because uh, like i talk so much and <laughs> and uh and um i was like okay how you do that because i i would love to have that practice uh in the future and i would love to know it from you that's really wonderful what you're doing there. She's drawing circles. She's drawing my glasses. They're yeah. they're actually uh, quite uh, uh, perfect. There, my glasses are right now like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah. it's not like the best circle shape, but you know, it's but glasses. Nothing it is perfect, like but this is perfect exactly. <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, I'll check the comments but i have another answer but i will check or uh, answer the question mm -hmm. i'll check the comment section okay there here's the question um teresa how old were you when you began drawing portraits um okay so i did make up a lot of characters uh when i started with art but really i just um I think I started like just drawing real people even when I was younger because I do remember um, I, I remember when I was younger when I was in first grade or something um, I loved to draw my mom and dad a lot so I drew my mom in the kitchen making food or something I still remember that so I I always love to draw portraits as well um, and yeah <laughs> There's something so, moving there. There's something uh, moving there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's okay. so sweet. That's such a sweet memory, what you just told us. Okay, okay. I think we get the answer. Um, okay, 
uh, the other the other um, again question for me mm -hmm. from you look um, yay I don't know <laughs> if oh, oh you wanted to say something oh no no <laughs> okay I don't know if there's any new people uh, joining but if there is hello uh, it's um, it's already she's already I think uh, um, after the middle uh, of this process but uh, she's uh, giving a tutorial for you beautiful people uh, drawing me <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, uh, I and such a great honor because that means uh, that means that I'm your friend because you draw your yeah. friends right <laughs> yeah Ooh, you're my I'm friend, your friend. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful <laughs> okay uh, so yeah, she's a uh, wonderful Teresa uh, is drawing me. Uh, hello, everybody Aww. again. And uh, my name uh, is Yan Lek, and I am a member of the Atlas Teens project of teenagers about teenagers. And uh, it's Atlas Teens. You can check our collection and check our Twitter account also. Uh, thank you for joining here and answering. Comment sections are open. If you have any any questions, ask them, please. Um, okay. So um, let's go. Mm -hmm. There is okay. Um, there is questions that I think uh, would be more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them for you. Okay. Hey Teresa, what type of education are you taking? I don't know. Um, uh, did you understand? Um. Wait. Um. Well, education meaning like how I go to school or something. I'm. I. I maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, oh, I, go to pub, I, <laughs> I, I, I go to public school. Um, okay. But if it's like about like the art, I just, I, I, <laughs> I'll, uh, my parents are into art as well. They have a lot of different, uh, they have like a different style than me. So it's just like <laughs> different. Um, but I, I, if, if you're talking about art, um, I, I learn from a lot of like YouTubers or just a lot of uh, people in social media. And I love to learn like all these like little tips and tricks in Procreate. Um, I'll always learn something uh, new uh, here and there, you know, about like how to draw like the human skull or something. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, oh yeah, there's also an app called Skillshare. And in Skillshare, you can learn a lot uh, you can learn a lot about like just anything. There's a lot of tutorials about anything really. So I like to go yeah. to Skillshare. So, uh, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> you know how we say Trella Skillshare. This would be a great place to put <laughs> the advertisement. <laughs> but okay, let's move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there is another question about the art. Where mm -hmm. can you go to get those texture brushes? Oh, um, actually in Procreate, um, these are all the brushes that come in Procreate. Like I didn't like download anything. So all these brushes I got in Procreate. Um, and there's like all these different types of brushes like sketching. So there's like different types of brushes for sketching. So I use the 6B pencil and there's painting. And there's just a lot of different brushes that you can explore. So a lot of people have like a different art style. So all these brushes are just like great. So you don't have to use the brushes I'm using. This is just my method. But um, I did create like a section. So if you want to like create a group, you can just like press here and you'll have this thing. And then you can just like move the brushes around like that. <laughs> and you wow. can even edit them. If you press on a one of the brushes, for example, this one, there's a lot of these different types of things that can change like the properties of the brush and make it look kind of different. <laughs> mm. So I didn't make any of these brushes. Uh, these are just the kind of the ones that came with Procreate. So I'm using Tamar One, Tinderbox, and I don't really use this one, but I use the flat brush for all the big shapes and sketching. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Okay, I think you answered it just perfectly. So, um, the question is, <laughs> mm -hmm. you have lots of questions today. Um, <laughs> so, uh, besides, not besides, like you, um, I think 
I don't know, actually, uh, do you more of the time draw in uh, like Procreate or just in your sketchbook? And which one do you like more? Oh, um, that's kind of a hard question to answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I I draw in my sketchbook a lot. I won't have my iPad on like the all the time. Uh, but I'll carry my sketchbook to different places. Like uh, when I went to like the hair salon to like get the haircut, I drew like just some things I found, uh, some pictures I found. So I just drew that in my sketchbook. So all the sketches and everything I drew in Procreate. Uh, so, I mean, I drew in my sketchbook and I draw all my final illustrations in um, Procreate. On iPad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay. I don't really have like a preference. I just use them for different things, uh, like sketches and final illustrations. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, so uh, I do have like a sketch I want to show you. This is like of Ava and Ramona. <laughs> I mean, a I meant to say Ramona and it's her big brother. So I like to draw all these different ideas and everything. Wow um in like my sketchbook so even like just um uh, like for example my favorite singers or Aww. just like this was i drew in 2020 and 2022 so i just have a lot of ideas wow. oh and this is from like a cartoon i love and yeah <laughs> that's so cool wow guys we just <laughs> saw the sketchbook Oh, yeah, you know, I think that's achievement in life. I don't know. Not a lot of people see that. <laughs> so. Wow, that that was so beautiful. How you do Thank that? You. Wow, God, <laughs> oh, <you> girl, <laughs> obeys me every time. Okay. <laughs> um, do you have anything to add? So I saw you just um, added the phone. Phone? No, not phone. How you call it in English? The background. Um, yes. You just uh, how you do that? How you did that? Just you just oh. push the brush. Yep. Just so um, on layers, on everything, there's always the background. So you can't like um, delete this or anything. This will just be there, and you can turn it on and off. So mm. if you go to background, you can choose all the different colors. Like if you want mm. pink or if you want. <laughs> so I just chose this color because it just like contrasted from like um, the dark color. So, yeah. <laughs> cool. Like okay. Now you will see that. Now we see yeah. that. Yeah. So I see you are already like the. Uh, I I'm uh, I'm a little art artist and a little no. So background means you are already starting to end the the art. Yeah. Um. Well, I I don't really have like I I just put the background with. I don't really have a time to put the background. I just like put it whenever I'm feeling it. Like if I just forgot mm. to put the background color or if I'm feeling okay. like this color might look good. <laughs> okay. So yeah, sometimes I put at the like start when I do it. Sometimes I do it at the end. So it's just kind of random, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, well, wonderful, wonderful. You know that's that I actually that's a great hack to see if like if you want to color your hair or do the haircut or anything, you can check it. You can draw yourself with this, and you can see how it looks. I think yes. that's my nice hack. <laughs> yeah. I, before I got my haircut, I actually drew in my sketchbook of like how oh. I want it to look like. Um, oh. Wait, I don't know if I have that sketch right now um it's like not like anything big but i just did uh, where is it <laughs> just okay. i just threw it in the point and you wow <laughs> that's actually a real life hack thing. like i just like it's it oh. looks like <laughs> just that yeah but like something did like this is what i wanted to have so i drew it yay <laughs> did you show it to the uh to the like the Master? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. I, I actually oh. just showed them a photo of what I wanted, uh. but you know, it's okay. fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, so if you're an artist watching this and you want haircut or haircut or color your hair or anything, just draw yourself. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> that, that is very true. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, um, be open to put them on the comment section. If you have mm -hmm. any questions about the art, how you do that, how you do that, how she does that and how she does that, it's not me doing this, <laughs> this wonderful yeah. piece. And um, yeah, I will read it to her. My, um, like in the list, it's the last question, but I think I will come up with other because I have lots, lots of questions. <laughs> but um, your advices for kids mm -hmm. and teens in the hard period or just when you were a teen or a kid, what kind of advice through your uh, already 13 years of life you can give? Um, well, I would say that don't like let other people from stopping what you love to do um just like keep doing what you love uh and don't care about what other people say about it and just keep just keep doing it um yeah. just like keep working for the goal and you'll definitely make it there <laughs> yeah yeah that's so true so yeah. true guys ne never ever think that somebody's opinion or words will is true it's never true just yeah believe in yourself and do it yeah <sighs> this wonderful <laughs> I, I get motivated <laughs> through every uh itch you know in any of your work should i get a ha haircut okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding um <laughs> maybe not okay um so uh, I wanted to ask, so mm -hmm. Ava and Romana, the collection that's going to uh, come up real soon, yeah? But you don't know uh, the dates yet. We don't, uh, we don't actually know the date just yet. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely know it's going to come out like this year and it's going to come out soon this summer. Uh, mm -hmm. But we don't have a date yet and I'm just, I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> and I'm, I'm almost done making the trades and... Uh, yeah, I have a website too if you want to check it out. Ava. Yeah. Ava check Ramona her website. <laughs> yeah. In there also. Her web website is beautiful. She is beautiful. Her work is beautiful. Oh my what God. else is beautiful? Tell me. <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, Everyone is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have anything to add about your art? Uh, yeah, I'm just. Um... I did all the like shadow um, mm -hmm. and you will see that like it might look like if you look like this, it will look like it's kind of finished. But actually, I'm not trying to focus on making it perfect. Um, I just want to like get the shadows down and I'm not trying to worry about every single brush stroke because a problem that I did have in art was and a lot of other artists might think that everything they do must be like just perfect. So they might be like messing with one tiny thing or like something. But actually people don't really care about um, if you make it perfect. Like the imperfections yeah. are are beautiful in the pro uh, portrait. Yeah. So like if this, like if something looks bad, don't worry about it so much. You can do it over again or you can mm -hmm. just keep working on top of that. Uh, yeah. So I, that's an advice and this is just what I'm doing right now I'm like grabbing a light color of like everything and I'm just doing like the little um, highlights here and there so mm -hmm. I'm almost done and I usually spend a lot more time on my portraits but actually it, it's going good right now <laughs> um, I, I've been practicing trying to draw a portrait um, fast because I I spend a lot of time just like focusing on like the mistakes of the portrait. But when I just think about like capturing the face and just capturing like, you know, your personality, everything in the portrait, it just comes out in, yeah. <laughs> and also something that I learned um, a few years ago was draw what you know, not draw what, I mean, draw what you see, not draw what you know. And mm. to explain more on that, um, just like, I would say just keep using references, use a lot of references. And mm -hmm. I just want to absorb like um, every like detail. So it make, it looks like you. <laughs> and yeah, but uh, don't, yeah, 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 continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just, I just wanted to say about the, like all the details focus, but, but don't, don't put that pimple. <laughs> Pe pe pimple? Pimple? Is this okay? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that detail. <laughs> Another details. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Every everyone is beautiful the yeah. way they are. Yeah. Okay, uh what I wanted to say, um it just slipped from my mind again. So I'll just oh. read the question. <laughs> okay. Um, it's okay. Why don't you start digital art classes, Teresa? Teresa. So let me let me clarify. Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Teresa. Why don't you start digital art classes? Actually, um, I've been uh, planning to maybe do some tutorials, or uh, like right now I'm doing a live so that like whenever I'm drawing an artwork, I can share like little things that you can learn from digital art, and yeah, I I am just. I, I really want to focus on teaching a lot of other kids and a lot of other artists on everything that I learn. Uh, so digital art is something that I really want to teach. And my goal is to become an art teacher as well. Just like an art teacher, meaning I just want to share everything that I know to everyone else, you know, mm-hmm. share, like just pass that knowledge and just yeah. pass the creativity. <laughs> Oh, that's I just cool. got there. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I would take your classes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Just how seeing you draw and uh, teaching by you would be really cool. So, so. that's a great Thank idea. You. Thank you, Shibu, if I'm spelling your name right. And about the mistakes part that you um, told, I just wanted to add a little uh, quick comment because um, mm-hmm. I am an also. I don't know, can I call myself an artist? I'm more of the, like, ref- I really depend on references. But uh, as a uh, as that kind of artist, um, the mistakes that you see, uh, it's what, 99% of the time, uh, it, it doesn't uh, seem shown, I don't know. Yeah. The, the other people just don't see it. You just, uh, exactly. perfectionist, uh, yeah. So uh, just keep up, nothing's perfect. And maybe it's even the detail that people like about it. So just keep going with uh, what's going. Uh, or, or or besides it's um, like, it won't just uh, come up and you'll just stop there and never try continue doing anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Teresa, you just got muted, or is there everything is okay? I hope this. If you don't know, you just you are muted. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay. okay. All right. Um, I think um, I think I'm done. But we can Ooh. just like, keep on talking. <laughs> we're done, guys. We're <laughs> done. It's like okay. Do you have Almost. any quick comments about just comments about the art? Uh, I think there's okay, a little bit more detail wow, here and there. <laughs> well, you see, she did it like one. In, she did it in <laughs> one hour. Uh, like you actually, you made it so in time because like you just made it in one hour. Like wow. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of surprised myself because um, mm-hmm. I I always think that like I need a lot of time to do an artwork and. I spend like uh like seven or eight or like a few days to do an artwork uh when I don't really need to. Uh so yeah. And actually I think I think I am done. <laughs> so Woo, uh, it's done. Yay. <laughs> Look how, she's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi. Um, Beautiful artist, wonderful Teresa is here. Uh, thank you so much for like uh, joining everyone. I saw a lot of nice comments, and I also saw NFT Kids magazine. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining, and thank you so much. And look, uh, it was really fun to draw you, and it was just really fun talking to you with the live and everyone else. <laughs> oh. It was super, super wonderful hearing your answers, your point of view and everything. Thank you so much. I think everybody, uh, it's been productive. It's been fun. I hope, I hope it's been fun. And uh, it's been uh, really great. It's been such a great life. I hope section, the comment section and the listeners and the viewers liked it. 
they liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> and a few more words I want to add is um, I, I did get a lot of, of like DMs about Procreate um, or like just people curious about digital art. So I hope you learned a lot about Procreate. Uh, I hope I could share some tips and tricks with you through this artwork. And if you want to check um, us out, I you can check me out on avaramona.art, which is my website. One more time. <laughs> and my socials are Teresa Melvin Art on Instagram, like LinkedIn, and Twitter. And um, Ava Ramona on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And, and, and yeah, uh, you can share your socials with just anybody who wants to check out Atlas. <laughs> yeah, um, guys, um, again, thank you so much, Teresa. It's been like, do I look here? Where do I look? Teresa, <laughs> thank you so much. It's been uh, really, really wonderful talking with you, seeing how you draw. It's a real piece of gold for me. Uh, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you liked it, how I hosted. Uh, it's my first time hosting, interviewing somebody like this. And I'm really grateful that it's been Teresa. Um, my name is Yinluk. Um, I am a member of the Atlas Teens. Atlas Teens was here. And uh, uh, you can check our collection. It's a collection about teenagers. And uh, uh, like, just so you just uh, if you want to check out a collection um but just a quick comment uh what is it like so that you know um and the whole message of it is just to show like the teenagers uh just the we want to be heard by people we want to be heard by adults because sometimes it is hard to adults to understand that they were someday like this like us and they did stuff like us also and we just want people adults uh, especially uh, to understand us and see us and hear us so check our collection check our twitter account we are here there our networking is really really open now atlas teens everywhere 365 teens on the open sea yeah <laughs> <laughs> and last thing is um for everyone like watching the live um i i want to see like if some of you um are artists out there seeing this live i want to see your self-portrait as well whether it's like a rough sketch on in a sketchbook or whether it's a digital artwork um i would love to see your self-portrait so i would challenge you to draw your self-portrait and you can tag me as Teresa melvin art if you do that and i'll, I'll check it out um i would love to see all of you guys are as well and i just yeah <laughs> so thank you everyone yes, wow don't forget to share and subscribe <laughs> bye 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 guys bye teresa it was so wonderful hearing you seeing you <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>